Hey guys, and welcome back here to Born Beautiful here with Amy. I am so excited to be back here with you guys, and that is because today we are recreating this very beautiful, soft, warm pink look. We're gonna be using the Me Matrimony palette. This is from the Bomb Cosmetics. I swear when you open it, up it only has nine shades but these nine shades are beautiful these do have more of a dry formula to them but they still work really nice on the eyes so i'm going to start off with the soft white shade that we have here it's like a soft nude and we're going to apply that as the base color just to create a very nice soft canvas for the rest of these shades to go on so now we're going to go in with that second beautiful kind of pinky nude shade and we're just going to apply that to the crease. This is basically our transition color. There's not too much color to it but you could definitely see it in person a little bit more than it does on camera. My background here is still the old one just because this is a video that I had prepared for Valentine's but it didn't go up. <laughs> so next I'm going to that cranberry shade. This is the center color in the palette and I'm applying that to the outer V and just working it into the crease but not as high as we worked the light pink shade. We definitely want to keep this more exact on the crease and on the outer V. This is more of our like darkest shade that's going to be going into this look which is why I decided to call it a soft pink warm toned look. <laughs> so we're going to go back into that transition shade, work it in. So by blending this out, what we really do get is a very nice blended out look without looking like we just put three colors without blending. So next I'm going to just deepen up that crease shade, adding a little bit more cranberry to the outer V, to the crease, just so we can make it a little bit more bold next we're going to add a little bit of this dark kind of black shade and we're just going to add a little bit to the outer v i know at the end the result it doesn't really look like i have a black shadow i even forgot about it until i'm doing this voiceover as i'm talking but it's because i blended it out really well with this elf crease brush that you see right now on screen using this brush i was able to really blend it out smoke it out that way it kind of just looks like a very dark cranberry shade and not so much of a black so next i'm going to be going in with the nyx glitter glue i'm applying that to half of my eyelid and just dabbing that out with my finger just going right across where we have no eyeshadow. Try not to get too much into the dark outer V corner. So next we're going to add a little bit of this Max Pigment in the shade Rose. And we're just going to apply it right on top of that glitter glue. And it just complements the look so much. As you can see, it barely looks like we had any black going on in the outer V. So next I'm going in with this Rimmel Perfect Match Concealer. And I'm just applying that right under the eyes, just outlining where I want to be all highlighted. <laughs> and I'm just blending that out with my new favorite Eco Tools blending sponge. I swear, I will never go back to the beauty blender after finding this sponge. Ever. Unless I happen to discontinue this sponge, which would totally kill me. I need to get backups. I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. I'm going to be using the Benefit Cut Brow Shade Number 4 with the e.l.f eyebrow pencil and I'm just going to be using that to create my eyebrows or I guess to fill them in make them beautiful <laughs> so basically I'm just going to skip over and get to my full face of makeup in three two one seconds so I did want to show you my inner corner highlight is Gilded Honey, this highlighter by Laura Geller. That's just what I'm using to make my eyes pop a little bit more in the inner corners. I really like how that looks. Then I'm going to back in the burgundy and black shades, just kind of dabbing a little bit on the this detailing brush and just applying it under the waterline just to create some depth to the eye look, a little bit of dimension going back in with some cranberry just to mix out blend out that black that was in there because i felt like it was a little bit too strong next i'm going into this um real techniques detail brush only because i still needed like i feel like i needed to blend out some more under the waterline so i'm going back into that rose pigment shade by mac taking the same brush and applying that once it's wet i did use the milani to spray it i'm applying that right in the center under the waterline, the lower lash line. Ooh, and it adds a beautiful pop. Now I'm curling my eyelashes and putting on some mascara using the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara on my lower lash line, or more like on my lower lashes. <laughs> 
And then I'm going to go in with these flirty Revlon eyelashes using the Kiss eyelash glue, which is my fave, and applying those. Yes! Slaying that eyelash game? No, I don't think so. <laughs> it took me forever to put on eyelashes. This was like one of the few times that I'm actually showing you because this time I didn't take too long. <laughs> so funny. Seriously, I take like 15 minutes off camera to do my eyelashes. The other one, like the one on the left side, was so hard. Yeah, that was, no, that was my right lash. <laughs> so next I'm just adding a little bit more of the Big Shot mascara to the eyelashes. Just to join mine and the falsies. Oh my god, the lashes are popping. Look at how that mascara makes them pop even more. 